Young parents in a heated custody battle over their seven-month-old son. She told me on the phone, you're never going to see Gabriel again. The boy's mother, 23-year-old Elizabeth Johnson, picks up everything and takes her baby on a two-day journey, traveling from Arizona to San Antonio, Texas. We looked through the windows and stuff for the place. And nobody was home. All the drawers were open in the bedroom. All our clothes were gone. She camps out inside this hotel room for over a week. Then two days after Christmas, she gets on a bus without her baby. She was by herself. She was by herself the whole time. And the day that she had called me and we talked on the phone, that was the day that she got on the bus and left. Where are you? Where is Gabriel? Gabriel is in the dumpster. I pulled the chains out. I put them in a paper bag and I put them in a trash can. And that ignites an all out search for Gabriel. And the first person we find connected to this woman is Tammy Smith. Tammy Smith, a mystery woman who's been trying to adopt Gabriel. I said, I already told Elizabeth there's going to be no adoption. And she's like, well, that's not what Elizabeth's telling us. I know that Tammy Smith was talking to her the whole time while she was here. From the day she left to the day she got arrested, Tammy was texting her and talking to her. Johnson is later picked up walking down a Miami street and is charged with kidnapping and child abuse. She now says that her son is still alive and that she handed him over to an unknown couple and Tammy Smith set it up. Smith, who claims she knew nothing about the secret adoption, will stand trial separately, charged with forgery and custodial interference. I am innocent, God is with me. Now, for the first time, Gabriel's father, Logan McQueary, sits down for an in-depth interview. Is this the first time you've been in here? Yeah, the very first time. The last time I know where Gabriel was is right there on that bed. Yeah.